Hey guys, welcome to day 19 of Vlogmas. I apologise if the audio seems a little strange, I'm having to sit a bit further back so you can see this uh, for the one thing that I'm going to bring up for this video. But yesterday, I think it was, was the first day that I actually was able to play guitar again. It's been a week today that I sliced my finger. <laughs> This feels so pathetic because I don't know if you'll be able to see it from there, but you might be able to see a little line, but it's like right through the center of the pad of my finger. So, uh, and as I said, it was a bit deep. It bled a lot, but it's been painful to like put any pressure on it. Like I say, it's been a week today since I did that. Yesterday, I actually managed to play guitar a little bit, but I had to be really careful of where I placed my finger and I'm still having that same thing. But being back to actually being able to play even just a little bit uh, got me thinking about something that I've wanted to bring up anyway. And that is my first guitar riff. And I consider it my first guitar riff. It I probably came up with other things. Um, I've got this stuck on distortion straight away, but uh, I mentioned before that the way I learned guitar was through um, a Nirvana guitar tab book. So probably my first kind of uh, guitar riffs were more just four block power chords, something like. Something like that. Um, <clears throat> just picking random <laughs> positions. But the one that I consider to be my first guitar riff is the riff that I wrote and can still remember. It's the only one I can remember from the first band that I was in. This being uh, brought up in another vlog. The first, uh, what I consider band kind of thing was playing uh, with this drummer in high school and we covered Offspring's uh, She's Got Issues and a couple of other things and I really can't remember what they are right now but we wrote at least one original track I don't think there was any lyrics to it and it was just the two of us but I still remember it um, and I do plan on doing something with it at some point even if just for a bit of a giggle but uh, what I'm actually thinking of doing with it is uh, putting it to one of those challenges that I mentioned before of like give myself an hour and uh, kind of, instead of doing like the one hour challenge where you write something completely original is that be the kind of a limitation or boundaries for it of I've got to write basically a whole new song but it has to be using that riff and uh, I've made I don't know if I've built it up in any particular way right now but um, it's not amazing <laughs> it definitely shows the kind of discordant thing that I used to really like and I still like uh, playing about with discordant sounds but this is so simplistic it's such a simple little thing but I've and it's probably why I've always remembered it, but I've managed to talk for like five minutes and I haven't even played it yet. So without further ado, this is it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like I said, it's nothing amazing, but it, has always stuck with me and although there's there's a part of me that kind of looks like oh my god that's such rubbish that it's just that kind of thing of looking back at your earliest attempts at something and going, oh my god I suck so much but there's some little bit of charm to it that I really like and I think that's why I've not allowed myself to forget it um, I've been I've been playing it uh, a bit more recently because I've been wanting to bring it up for something, but I'm having to hold back 
because I because I'm thinking of doing it like a challenge. There's a part of me that uh, finds that whilst I'm playing it, I'll suddenly try coming up with the next bit, and uh, I don't want to do that because I may be doing it as a challenge. So, but that's the one thing is that we had like a whole song for it, but that's the only bit I can remember. So, I'd say nothing amazing. I can't remember any of the stuff that I wrote back then. I used to write uh, lyrics all the time, basically just like poems because they didn't have music with them anyway. But then I'd try and fit music around them, and I can't remember any of it. Uh, the earliest stuff I can remember after that is uh, something that I was a little project that I wrote some songs for a, a girlfriend at the time and that is something that I'm planning on still revisiting and releasing in some way so there's that little tease I guess um, but yeah I still have to be a bit careful with how I'm playing because if I, I it depends on how I position my finger it still hurts but it's nice to be able to pick up the guitar and actually do something without fearing that it's, I'm going to start bleeding all over the guitar or something. Like I said, nothing completely amazing, but I wanted to share that because it is like one of those look backs at the earliest stuff that I did. And while I don't think the kind of stuff that I come up with now is absolutely groundbreaking, um, I do feel like it. I have progressed in my songwriting capabilities to go beyond something so simplistic. But again, maybe charming, or maybe not. I think I did, there was a section where I just let the bottom string ring out. This might not be all that interesting right now, but I've just thought of it. I think there's a bit where we went back, like did a break and then went back. And to make it sound heavier, I just let the bottom string ring out. So, which would have been. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did that. Like I say, it may not have been interesting, but that literally just popped into my head. So, uh, thought I'd share. Um, that's basically it. That's uh, the little thing that I wanted to share. It's just a little bit of my kind of musical history. And again, being able to actually play guitar again a little bit. Still slightly in pain, but I'm able to do it. So... Um, Feel free to turn off at this point, but I'm just going to like give an update on me. Um, not directly going on from yesterday's thing. Um, still not feeling great in terms of that, but not quite so. Yeah, <laughs> if that makes sense. I don't know if it's really obvious just by like looking or how I sound, but I'm a little bit under the weather again. I can't remember if I mentioned it yesterday, but um, I had uh, my throat playing up again. But I'm also now uh, on a course of antibiotics thanks to um, a, a, a potential infection. So um, that is currently doing one on me because um, today as of uh, I only started them yesterday and to about midday today I started feeling really sick and that's still going on at the moment so I'm getting like pangs and sickness feeling like coming in waves and it's really not great and it's making me feel kind of groggy I don't usually like taking medication um, but I would rather take it to make sure that, um, on doctor's advice, I'd rather take it uh, to make sure that I'm going to be okay 
than not and potentially get worse and worse and worse. So yeah, on antibiotics at the moment and they're making me feel like crap. So that's all fun and games. But anyway, that's a that's an aside note for anyone who may be interested in knowing how I'm doing. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any thoughts on the stupid little riff that I just presented to you as if it's some... Well, I don't think I've come across as if it's some kind of grand thing because I pretty much stated outright that it's not. But... It is still something I remember and I've held on to and I will do something with it even if just for giggles so just gotta figure out exactly what I'm gonna do one day thank you guys very much for watching and um, I shall see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>